Hey everybody, welcome to part two of this review and something fell on the ground and that actually rhymed. <laughs> well, the other piece that I bought from that eBay seller was in fact another hard to get item, at least here in, uh, here in Canada. Basically, uh, one of the hardest to find Equestria Girl minis is in fact Sunset Shimmer. So I was able to find her online here. We have here Shim Shim. Some people call her bacon hair. Some people call her, I call her Shim Shim. And of course, here she is in all her beautiful glory. I love Sunset. She's one of my favorites. She's the only Equestria Girl like doll that I actually bought and took out of her package. She's my favorite. Just something about her having a hard time like making friends at first. It just it reminds me of me because of my whole problem making friends and stuff. But yeah, we got Shim Shim hair. I love Shim Shim. She's so beautiful. Her hair it looks like bacon. I love bacon. Do you like bacon? I love bacon. Wow, she's hard to get out of her bag, out of her thing. She's really in there. Holy smokes! What is her thing made out of? Bacon. Bacon is the most awesome thing to put a toy in. I'd buy a toy that was encased in bacon. I would. Think about it. It would smell really good. Oh! Don't smell weird things, kids. Don't smell weird things. That really smelled weird. I'm very sorry. Let's see what her thing says. Oh boy. Some of these pieces I still haven't been able to find. It's so once again the school dance set. So we haven't moved into the next set yet because we still have party. <laughs> we still have the party to deal with. Oh boy. Wow. Can you do that again? I like to stay for the fact that Sunset Shimmer's an escape artist. She just freaking slipped out of all of her confinement. Like her boots slipped out of here really easily, and her arms just slid out of the ones that were in her uh in her hand thing. Good for you, Sunset. Good for you. Anybody else think that Sunset should have been a princess? Because, like, if you think about it, Twilight, uh, Celestia, Luna, and Cadence, all of their hoofs had that on them. Do you guys think that maybe Sunset was supposed to be an alcorn? Because even in, in that one uh, comic that I read, when she was looking into the Equestria Girl mirror, she saw herself as an alcorn. So maybe she was. I, I, I think, I like to think that maybe she was supposed to be one. That'd be really cool. Imagine if she became one and Twilight became one. They could be like at the same. They could be like ruling the um, the the uh, castle of friendship together. That'd be so cool. Ah, oh, be so cool. I love Sunset. So here's her figure. Very beautiful. Ah, oh, her little ears. Here's her back. Look at that bacon hair. Ah, oh, she's so beautiful. Oh my gosh. Who here is a fan of Sunset? I'm, I'm serious. Who who's a who's a fan of Sunset? Me. <laughs> of course, she's a fan of herself. She's adorable. But yes, um, like I said, these are very hard to find in Canada. So um, I'm very lucky that I actually got a hold of one of them. Um, if you guys are looking for them, I highly suggest looking on uh, eBay if you're a Canadian. And if you're a person that lives in the States, I, I guess Target would have them or even Walmart, Toys R Us. Um, like I said, I'm not too sure because I'm Canadian and we're having a hard time getting a hold of these. So yeah, until uh, next time people, this has been me and Skypie for another episode of Girl to Girl Proud Views saying I don't got a single word going through my head that makes sense. And yay, ponies! See you guys next time.